have the right to remain silent. You have the right to not incriminate yourself. But how about this? Here's another right. You have the right to not have your life taken away from you. Now, let's think about which one's more important. Throughout the course of human history, uh, we see that the right to life has always been a much more fundamental human right than the right to remain silent. Like all of these uh, other rights, like all other human rights, all and this isn't even like generally considered a fundamental human right, but the right to life is always, has always been considered the fundamental human right. Uh, John Locke spoke of life, liberty, and property, life first. Uh, Hobbes spoke of the state of nature when civilization was first developed to uh, take man out of the state of nature. The first right that everybody was given, the first liberty that everybody was given, was the right to have your life not taken away from you unjustly. And so, when it comes to matters of the death penalty, we're taking people's lives. And it's a really, really, really touchy issue because life is the most fundamental right. So while the Miranda rights are certainly very important, certainly influential, certainly very influential, uh, when dealing with issues of the death penalty, it's far more influential, first of all, because this is, has been something that has been an issue throughout all of human history, all of the United States history. And uh, the Miranda rights are fairly recent, and in comparison to life, uh, honestly not as big. Knock, knock. <laughs> 